you're going to be sitting on this chair, which rotates. And it spins about the vertical axis. So think of it as like the Z axis. Okay. Now we're assuming that the ball bearings work well here. <laughs> so there's very little friction. So we can assume that the torque that's acting about the vertical axis is zero or nearly zero. Right? So the person's going to be initially sitting in a chair, holding the weights out. We're going to give you initial angular speed, so you're spinning. And then you're going to pull in the weight. Now, what do you think is going to happen from your knowledge of ice skaters, I guess, is one? Yeah, you should speed up. I have a lot of mass far away from the vertical axis. So that should lead to a larger moment of inertia. Right? So I initial should be greater than when I pull everything in and it's very close to my axis that's spinning. All right, so that's the first part. The first demo we'll do in a little bit. Now the second one, the second part, is using the wheel. This is interesting and very counterintuitive as well. All right, so let's say you're sitting on a chair. You're at rest, right? So you're not spinning at all. All the angular momentum, all the spinning is going to be in the wheel itself. It'll be spinning like this. If you're looking from above counterclockwise, now if you take your right hand and you curl it in the direction of the spin, your thumb will point in the direction of the angular momentum vector. So all the angular momentum is in the wheel initially and it's pointing upward. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the wheel. So at some angle, you're going to rotate it. Okay. I'll give you an initial angular speed, yep. and then you're going to pull the weights in. You don't have to do it really quickly, you can just pull them in. Okay. All right? I won't go too fast, just so you feel comfortable. Okay, now pull them in, and then back out again. So conservation of angular momentum, yeah. <laughs> okay, you don't want to get too busy, the second part as well. All right, now I'm going to need someone's help for the second part. Okay, so you're going to sit on the chair the same way. Yep. You're going to be holding this wheel. I would, you could do it several, I would probably do it like this. So both hands in this direction. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it spinning. Yep. And then you're just going to rotate it. Essentially, eventually all the way upside down. Okay? Mm -hmm. So hold that. Um, I would hold it that way probably. Are you comfortable on the chair? Yep. All right, I'm going to have you hold the shoulders because uh, I'm going to have to, just to get this rotating. And I won't have it go too, too quickly because it gets really hard to move. You got him? I got him. <laughs> okay. Uh, easy, easy. Actually, that's probably good. Okay, let go. Now rotate the wheel. Go all the way over. <laughs> and if you go back the other way, you should stop again because now all the angular momentum is in the wheel again. Want me to stop? Sure. And then go all the way up, and then yeah, I'll just. There we go. Anyone else want to try? It's fun. <laughs>